Welcome to Hidden Inca Tours and our exploration of the Sphinx area of the Giza Plateau in Egypt. Join us in March 2018 as we return to explore not only the Giza Plateau but most of the famous sites in Egypt. So this is your virtual tour. Here we are approaching what is called the Valley Temple. The Valley Temple is to the right of the Sphinx itself and these giant blocks were cut out from what is called the Sphinx enclosure. Now what you can clearly see here are there are massive granite blocks which were placed in front of a core of bigger limestone blocks. And the erosion on the limestone is very significant. As well, the floor is made of very tight-fitting limestone segments. In some cases, you can't fit a human hair in the cracks. In other cases, it's heavily eroded. And then here we are outside, walking towards what is called the Sphinx Temple which is right in front of the Sphinx itself. Again, these blocks were cut out from the Sphinx enclosure. And these very ornate and finely crafted granite blocks were once part of the top of the exterior of the wall. Look at the level of precision. Now here we're looking in behind the gate and you can see there are other granite blocks that have fallen down in the past and are lined up. We're now walking inside the Valley Temple past these two caretakers. Again note the size of the granite blocks and the floor here is made of a type of alabaster. We're looking down into what was a shaft and now we're about to walk inside of the Valley Temple. Note the size of these huge granite pillars and the strange weathering patterns that are on them. Looks very much like water. But there hasn't been water in this area for a very long time and the incredible precision of some of the surfaces. Why, for example, is this black granite or cyanite block so well preserved, whereas the others are heavily eroded? Alone, more or less, in the Valley Temple, on the Giza Plateau. And clearly what you're looking at is an incredibly ancient structure. And as I've said many times, as have other authors such as Stephen Mailer, Graham Hancock, etc., this was constructed thousands of years before the dynastic Egyptians ever existed. It is truly megalithic. At the base of these pillars, you're seeing signs of water damage to granite pillars. And it hasn't rained significantly in the Giza Plateau area for at least 10,000 years. That will also explain the weathering on the Sphinx. <laughs> The granite either comes from Aswan or from eastern Egypt, possibly the Sinai or the eastern desert, whereas the limestone was quarried on site. Of course, you're looking at huge slabs of stone that could not have been either cut nor moved, nor likely put into place 
during the time of the Bronze Age dynastic Egyptians. So we have to presume, including the weathering, that we're looking at a much, much older structure. Now look at the erosion on these surfaces. Most of the time this has been buried in sand or buried with sand going very high up. So what would account for this excessive erosion aside from the fact that it's been here for a very, very long time? Belgium, yes? Peru. From Belgium? Peru. Peru. South America. South America, yes. Yes. Note the vertical erosion. According to Robert Schock and many other geologists, including our own Susan Moore, this could only have been achieved by huge amounts of precipitation. And again, it hasn't rained here in the Giza Plateau area for at least 10,000 years. So with the amount of extreme er erosion on the Sphinx, that's telling us that it, again, was carved more than 10,000 years ago, which, as I'm sure most of you know, is at least, or is about, twice as old as the time that the dynastic people have been in Egypt. The massive blocks of the Sphinx Temple and Valley Temple in front of me, which originally were one structure, they were hewn out of this area here. So the Sphinx was not made by being cut out or shaped. Mega, mega ton blocks or megalithic blocks were cut out and moved in front in order to create that shape. And again, you're not talking about something that was likely possible, or let's just admit it, not possible, during the time of the dynastic Egyptians. So when they arrived here, five to six thousand years ago, they found the Sphinx in place, and they found these three pyramids and some others in the area called the Land of Osiris, or Boo Wizzer, already there. And that's why they're so heavily eroded. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.